Have you ever wondered why that persistent heartburn won't go away or why you feel a sudden sharp pain in your abdomen? These discomforts can be more than just a passing nuisance. They might be the telltale signs of a gastrointestinal disorder. Gastrointestinal disorders are a significant medical problem worldwide, affecting millions of people every year. From the esophagus to the liver, these disorders encompass a range of conditions including reflux esophagitis, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, ulcers, gastritis and various liver disorders. Reflux esophagitis, for example, is an inflammation that damages tissues of the esophagus, the tube that carries food from your mouth to your stomach. It's often caused by the backwash of stomach acid into the esophagus, a condition known as acid reflux. Then we have GERD, a chronic condition where stomach acid frequently flows back into the esophagus, causing heartburn and possible injury to the esophageal lining. Ulcers, on the other hand, are sores that develop on the lining of the stomach, upper small intestine or esophagus. Gastritis is an inflammation, irritation or erosion of the lining of the stomach that can occur suddenly or gradually. Liver disorders, which range from mild conditions like fatty liver to serious diseases like cirrhosis and liver cancer, affect a vital organ responsible for many critical functions in the body. Each of these conditions can significantly impact a person's quality of life causing discomfort, pain, and even severe complications if left untreated. The symptoms vary and so do the detection methods and treatment protocols. Understanding these disorders, their symptoms, and treatment options can go a long way in managing them effectively and improving the quality of life for those affected. So, let's delve deeper into these conditions starting with reflux esophagitis and GERD. We'll explore the key symptoms, how they are detected, the medical interventions used, and the class of drugs physicians typically prescribe. Stick around to learn more about these conditions, their symptoms, detection methods, and treatment protocols. Let's take a closer look at what's going on inside our bodies and how we can take better care of our digestive health. Reflux, esophagitis, and GERD. Ever heard of these terms? They might sound like a mouthful, but they're nothing more than two common gastrointestinal disorders that many people around the world grapple with every day. Reflux esophagitis is a condition where the lining of the esophagus, the tube connecting your mouth and stomach, becomes irritated due to a backward flow of stomach acid. On the other hand, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD is a chronic condition where acid reflux occurs more than twice a week. Both of these conditions can cause discomfort and disruption to everyday life. The symptoms of reflux esophagitis and GERD are quite similar. They include heartburn, which is a burning sensation in the chest, regurgitation of food or sour liquid, and difficulty swallowing. More serious symptoms can include chest pain, especially when lying down, and a sensation of a lump in your throat. Detection of these conditions typically involves a medical examination and tests like an endoscopy or a 24-hour pH probe study. An endoscopy allows the doctor to view your esophagus and stomach, while the pH probe study measures the acid in your esophagus. Once diagnosed, treatment usually involves medications such as proton pump inhibitors or H2 blockers that reduce the production of stomach acid. These are often complemented with lifestyle changes such as maintaining a healthy weight, avoiding food and drinks that trigger heartburn, and eating smaller meals. A key part of managing these conditions is diet and lifestyle modifications. This could mean cutting down on foods that trigger acid reflux like spicy foods, citrus and caffeine, as well as reducing alcohol intake and quitting smoking. Regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can also help control symptoms. Ignoring these conditions can lead to serious complications. Persistent heartburn and long-term acid reflux can lead to conditions like Barrett's esophagus, which increases the risk of esophageal cancer. So, it's crucial to take these symptoms seriously and seek professional help when needed. Let's dive into some real-world case studies. Meet John, a 45-year-old office worker who loves his coffee and fast food. Every day, he'd grab a burger for lunch, top it off with a cup of joe, and continue his work. But one day, he started experiencing heartburn and a sour taste in his mouth, especially after meals. Nighttime was the worst, with a burning sensation in his chest that disturbed his sleep. He brushed it off as indigestion. But when these symptoms persisted, he decided to see a doctor. The doctor suspected reflux esophagitis or gastroesophageal reflux disease, commonly known as GERD. To confirm, an endoscopy was done, which showed inflammation and damage to his esophagus. 
The diagnosis? Reflux esophagitis, a result of chronic GERD. It turned out, John's love for fast food and coffee, coupled with stress and late night meals, had led to this condition. But the story doesn't end here. John was prescribed a class of drugs called proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, to reduce the acid production in his stomach. Along with medication, he was advised lifestyle modifications. These included cutting down on his beloved coffee and fast food, eating smaller meals, not eating close to bedtime, and elevating the head of his bed to prevent acid reflux during sleep. John took the advice to heart. He started eating healthier, reduced his coffee intake and made sure not to eat late at night. It was challenging, but he was determined. And guess what? His efforts paid off, his symptoms started to decrease, and follow-up endoscopies showed improvement in his esophagus. John's story is a common one, but what about the sharp pains in the abdomen we mentioned earlier? Ulcer and gastritis, two conditions that can cause intense discomfort. Let's delve into the world of ulcers first. These are sores that can form in the lining of your stomach or the upper part of your small intestine. They're often caused by an infection with a bacterium called Helicobacter pylori or from long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, commonly known as NSIDs. Symptoms can include a burning stomach pain, feeling of fullness, bloating or belching, intolerance to fatty foods and heartburn. On the other hand, gastritis is inflammation of the lining of the stomach. It can occur suddenly, known as acute gastritis, or gradually, referred to as chronic gastritis. It's often due to the same bacterium that causes most stomach ulcers. Gastritis symptoms might include nausea or recurrent upset stomach, abdominal bloating, abdominal pain, vomiting, indigestion, burning or gnawing feeling in the stomach between meals or at night, and loss of appetite. Both conditions are typically diagnosed through endoscopy, a procedure where a thin tube with a camera is inserted into your stomach through your mouth. This allows the doctor to see any inflammation or ulcers. Blood, breath and stool tests may also be used to detect Helicobacter pylori infection. When it comes to treatment, both conditions can be managed through a combination of medication and lifestyle changes. Proton pump inhibitors and H2 blockers are classes of drugs used to reduce stomach acid, promoting healing and alleviating symptoms. Antibiotics are used to tackle Helicobacter pylori infection. And let's not forget the crucial role of diet and lifestyle modifications. Limiting or avoiding alcohol, caffeine and spicy foods can help, as can quitting smoking. Regular exercise and stress management techniques can also be beneficial. Remember, these conditions are not just about discomfort. If left untreated, they can lead to serious complications such as bleeding, perforation and obstruction of the stomach. Early detection and treatment can prevent further complications. Let's see how this played out in a real-world case. Meet Lisa, a 35-year-old teacher with a busy schedule and a love for spicy foods. Lisa began experiencing discomfort in her stomach, often after meals, which she initially dismissed as indigestion. However, the persistent pain, coupled with bouts of nausea and a loss of appetite, raised a red flag. After a few weeks, Lisa decided to consult a gastroenterologist. The doctor suggested an endoscopy, a procedure that allows a close look at the inner lining of the stomach. The results revealed that Lisa was suffering from gastritis, an inflammation of the stomach lining, and also had a peptic ulcer, a sore that develops on the lining of the stomach. The doctor explained that both conditions were likely due to a combination of factors, including the bacteria Helicobacter pylori, prolonged usage of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and a diet high in spicy and acidic foods. Lisa was prescribed a course of antibiotics to eliminate the bacteria, along with proton pump inhibitors to reduce the production of stomach acid. As part of her treatment plan, Lisa also had to make some lifestyle changes. She switched to a diet that was easier on her stomach, eliminating spicy foods and incorporating more fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Lisa also learned to manage stress better, incorporating yoga and mindfulness into her daily routine. Over time, Lisa noticed a significant improvement in her symptoms. Regular follow-ups with her doctor confirmed that the inflammation had reduced and the ulcer was healing. Lisa's journey is a testament to the importance of early detection and the power of lifestyle changes in managing gastrointestinal disorders. Her story serves as a reminder that our health often reflects our lifestyle choices. 
and that it's never too late to make positive changes for better health. While Lisa learned to manage her condition, let's move on to liver disorders, another common gastrointestinal disorder. The liver, an organ that plays a vital role in our body, but what happens when it malfunctions? Let's delve into the world of liver disorders. A liver disorder is any condition that causes liver inflammation or damage and affects liver function. This can include diseases such as hepatitis, cirrhosis and liver cancer. Symptoms of liver disorders are often subtle and easily overlooked in their early stages. They can include fatigue, loss of appetite, yellowing of the skin or eyes, known as jaundice, and swelling in the legs and abdomen. If you're experiencing these symptoms, it's important to see your healthcare provider promptly. They may order blood tests, imaging tests, or even a liver biopsy to diagnose the issue. Once a liver disorder is diagnosed, a range of medical interventions are available. The treatment options largely depend on the type and stage of the liver disorder. For instance, antiviral medications may be used for chronic hepatitis B or C, while liver transplantation is a last resort for conditions such as end-stage liver disease and liver cancer. A group of drugs known as hepatoprotective agents are commonly used in the treatment of liver disorders. These drugs aim to preserve liver function, reduce inflammation, and prevent further liver damage. However, the importance of early detection cannot be overstressed. Catching a liver disorder in its early stages greatly increases the chances of successful treatment and recovery. Diet and lifestyle modifications also play a crucial role in managing liver disorders. This could involve maintaining a healthy weight, limiting alcohol intake, avoiding raw shellfish, which can carry a bacteria harmful to the liver, and consuming a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Liver disorders can have serious implications if left untreated. They can lead to complications such as liver failure, liver cancer, and even death. Therefore, it's essential to take any potential symptoms seriously and seek medical attention promptly. Liver disorders can have serious implications if left untreated. Let's see how this plays out in a real-world case. Meet Sam, a 50-year-old businessman with a taste for the finer things in life. He enjoyed lavish parties, indulgent meals, and a nightly glass of whiskey. But when he started experiencing persistent fatigue, loss of appetite, and abdominal pain, he knew something was off. His complexion also began to take on a yellowish hue, a condition known as jaundice. Deciding not to ignore these symptoms, Sam paid a visit to his physician. After a thorough examination and a series of tests including blood tests, imaging tests, and a liver biopsy, Sam was diagnosed with cirrhosis, a late stage of scarring of the liver. His love for rich foods and alcohol, coupled with a lack of regular exercise, had taken a toll on his liver. The news was a wake-up call for Sam. His physician explained that while the damage to his liver was irreversible, he could manage his condition and slow the disease's progression. Therapy would involve a combination of medications such as beta blockers and diuretics, and in severe cases, a liver transplant. But the cornerstone of treatment was lifestyle modification. Sam had to bid farewell to his beloved whiskey and rich foods. He switched to a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean protein. He started exercising regularly and kept his weight in check. He also had to regularly monitor his condition through blood tests and imaging studies to keep an eye on the progression of the disease. The journey was not easy for Sam. He had to make significant changes to his lifestyle, which was difficult given his love for indulgence. But he knew that this was a battle he had to win, not just for himself, but for his family and loved ones as well. Sam's story serves as a reminder of the importance of early detection and treatment. It's a testament to the fact that our lifestyle choices can greatly impact our health and that it's never too late to make positive changes. Remember, when it comes to your health, you are in the driver's seat. So steer in a direction that leads to longevity and wellness. Gastrointestinal disorders are more common than we think and can significantly impact our quality of life. From heartburn and indigestion to more severe conditions like ulcers, gastritis and liver disorders, these ailments are not to be taken lightly. Affecting millions of people worldwide, these disorders are significant medical problems that can drastically affect one's overall health if left untreated. Reflux esophagitis and GERD, for instance, are conditions that result from stomach acid frequently flowing back into the tube connecting your mouth and stomach. They're often signaled by symptoms like heartburn, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. 
While over-the-counter medications can provide temporary relief, long-term solutions often involve lifestyle changes and prescription medications. Ulcers and gastritis, on the other hand, are often caused by bacteria or long-term use of pain relievers. These conditions can cause severe stomach pain, nausea and even bleeding. The good news is that with early detection and appropriate medical intervention, these conditions can be successfully managed. Liver disorders are another category that can't be ignored. They can be caused by a variety of factors from viral infections to genetic disorders and can lead to serious complications like cirrhosis and liver cancer if not addressed promptly. Treatment options range from medication and lifestyle changes to surgical intervention in more severe cases. The takeaway here is the importance of early detection and intervention, regular checkups, being attentive to unusual body signals and getting the appropriate medical help when needed can make a world of difference. Remember, it's not just about treating symptoms, it's about managing your overall health. Lifestyle modifications such as a balanced diet, regular exercise and stress management can play a crucial role in preventing and managing these disorders. In the end, it all boils down to being informed and proactive about your health. Realize that these aren't just isolated conditions but are part of a larger, interconnected system that is your body. Remember, your health is in your hands. Stay informed, stay healthy.